Witches and wizards gathered to prepare the downfall of your family. Make sure you do this to destroy the purpose of their gathering. By the grace of God, after today, any man or woman that will gather for the sake of your family, in the name of Jesus, they shall scatter. Make sure you follow up the instruction. They went through sleepless nights just to make sure they succeed in pulling your family down. There's no big deal, don't worry. Let me tell you this. Kovu also meet gathering. Yes, you are going to gather against that Kovu. In Matthew, I think Matthew 18 verse 20, he said, Wherever you and your family are gathered in his name, that he is there with you. You and your children, you and your husband, you and your siblings, when you are more than one, wherever two or three are gathered, in his name he is there. See, it doesn't really matter the gathered, gathering they, they planned on your family. The coven they arranged on just to stop your family from moving forward. What matters if, if you can regard that to destroy their gathering, you will be set free. Let me tell you what to do. This is a cup of water. Take it. Make sure if you can, if you're, if you are doing it with your siblings, whoever you want to gather with, if they can stay till 12 o'clock, it will be fine. If they want to sleep and wake up 12 o'clock, no problem. Make sure you guys gather 12 o'clock dots in the night. Then pick up a cup of water. One person can raise a prayer point and pray on that water. It's a sign of agreement. Whatever the both or all of you agree here tonight, in the name of Jesus, that is what we stand. He said, whatever you disagree with will be disagree in heaven. Okay, so after praying on the water, let everyone drink from the same cup round. Everyone must say amen to that prayer. Just decree whatever you want. Say whatever you want to say to this prayer. Sign of agreement. Everybody drink the water around. Then pick up your Bible and use Psalm 35 to defeat your enemy that night. Make sure you do use that one to pray. And do not forget a mercy prayer. That is very important. Okay? Before you drink your water, I will remind you this. No matter the covenant they took your name to, no matter the Joshua, my people, they say, one person, one person, not they gather COVID. There must be two or three people to agree to their evil plan. You and your family are here to agree. And I must remind you this, when gathering meets gathering, the lowest gathering will bow. And when power meets power, the lowest power will bow. And there is no power that is greater than the power of your father in heaven. Okay? And do not forget, when light comes, Darkness will disappear. Jesus is the light of the world. My darling, just start praying. Pray and hold your hands. Gather and agree. Disagree with any gathering, any covenant, any junction, any altar that has gathered against you and your family. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. He said, just say at whatever you want me to do. And I will do it for you. Do it in my name and we do it for you. I hope you understand. Go ahead and go for this prayer. Your family will be set free. From that bondage, your family will be set free. From that bondage, your family will be set free. Any man or woman that has taken your name to any coven just to pull you down or whatever. A place where the name of God is not mentioned. In the name of Jesus. By the reason of this prayer you are about to embark on, you shall be set free in Jesus' name. Before you start, tell Jesus to take over. You cannot do it on your own. God bless you all. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.